At the moment, it is the madness of the upscalers that adds hallucinations. I decided to create a workflow on Comfy U. I to do this. Here is the first result with a portrait of a woman. As we can see, there are many details that are added to the hair. In the eyes, the quality of the skin is greatly different. Here is another example with a landscape. You will see the huge difference in terms of clouds, water, and the cabin. Why is it not just a upscaler, but something that hallucinates? You will see how the cabin turns into a boat in this case. You see, a boat has appeared. In my workflow, you can manage the amount of hallucinations you want. Here is another result. I went from this grandfather, who is a character from a story we are making for our next film, to the more realistic upscaled version here. You can see the quality of the eyes, the hair, the beard, the little texture that is on top of the clothes. For that, here is the workflow that I used. We have the image that we load here. Then we have prompts that are set by default that allow you to increase the level of detail. Here, we can put back what the image is. To manage the hallucinations. In the middle, we have a hyper adapter part because, in some cases, to manage the style that we want to obtain, we can pass reference images. Then, the upscale is done in two parts. On the one hand, we upscale with a standard model. We get a first version. Here, I upscale with a ratio of 0.45. We load a LoRa that adds details. And then, we simply go to the ultimate SDF scale, where we have the Denwise that is also, that will also manage the hallucination part, and the size of the tiles, that allows you to manage the upscale via ultimate SDF scale, quite simply. Another example is on the robot. I transformed this robot into this robot using the same workflow. The quality at the level of the hand is just amazing. I love it. And, as you can see here, it is exactly the same workflow. We just put a slightly different prompt. All this, it was a test version of my workflow. I even created a slightly more advanced workflow, which is here. In this workflow, though always, we can load the image we have the default prompts. Here, we put the prompt we need to describe the image. So here, it was a portrait in the street in a photorealistic style. In the middle, if we want to manage the style, we can activate the IP adapter. I added a net control because in some cases, we lose structure. So, we can activate it. We can deactivate it like this. So the upscale is done in two parts. Always. We load the upscale model. We have a first version, a little too smooth, which lacks detail in my taste. No. We upscale it a second time, with a ratio of 1.50, with a hallucination degree of about 20%. The size of the tiles is twice the original one. I can have it twice. 
because I have enough RAM. If you don't have enough, you can lower it. Between 1 and 2 is good, in general, and we get this version, where we see that the quality of the eyes is very different. I find the skin a little too smooth. I think I should have put a little more hallucination. Maybe go to 0.3 or 0.4. I will let you try it on your own illustrations. You have the summary of all the explanations, which is below. You don't need to watch a tutorial in a loop. And I wish you beautiful upscale. And I can't wait to see what you will do with this workflow. As usual, you will find the workflows on our guide. Our GitHub sharing is caring, and you will find the other workflows that we have done previously. Do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel, to put a star on GitHub. A thumb up on YouTube encourages us to create new tutorials and new workflows. See you soon.